What's going on guys? Welcome to our master bathroom. Right behind me is the shower in question that's going to get gutted and completely redone. So when I built this house, this was the first custom shower that I had ever done. I did a lot of things right, but there was a few things, unfortunately, that I did wrong and now they're coming back to bite me in the butt. Mold, mildew, some of the tiles are falling off. This is mainly in the bench area, but it's making the whole shower just ugly and disgusting and we wanna just revamp the whole thing. But before we get started, I'm gonna go on a few quick trips and I want you to come along with me. We're gonna get pumped up, excited, get inspired, come back and get going on this thing. Let's go. Okay, so now seems like a pretty good time just to stop and explain what in the world I'm doing because you might be asking yourself, why did he just rip out that perfectly good flooring? Well, the reason I ripped it out is because we're going to have a straight walk-in shower. We're not gonna have a curb like you would normally see. And to achieve that, I want it to be three quarter inches lower than the outside floor because you want one quarter inch of drop per foot uh, away from the drain. So you can see what I've ended up doing. I had to bring in two by fours and run them this way. Typically, from what I've seen, you usually run them lengthwise on either side. You sandwich your floor truss and you just secure them that way. But because of where the floor trusses are right here, I wasn't able to do that. I just didn't have a whole lot to secure to. So I had to kind of go the long way around and secure them from the bottom. Now from that point, what I'll end up doing, just to make it super stiff, and I've already got two sheets of three quarter inch plywood, I'll rip that down, 
for the same width in between these floor trusses. And when I put it down, the top of the plywood will be at the top of the floor trusses, giving me that three quarter inch difference of drop to my drain. Uh, there's a few other things that I got to do here as far as plumbing to get everything to fit. And because uh, I'm dropping this, I had to end up dropping the drain itself. So we're going to get that finished up and then we'll start cutting our plywood just wide enough to fit in between the two floor trusses and we'll be back on we'll be back on schedule to start laying the pan in the shower. 